Well, I take a view of it's not about where we direct our anger, but where we direct our focus. And right now, we're thinking too much about parties and not enough about the things that we're actually here to talk about today, which is you know, serious issues like Russia, Ukraine, uh, issues like national insurance tax increases. And these are everyday things that are really going to affect ordinary people across the board. This is where the, the media, especially, and I absolutely agree with your point, Michelle, I think it is a sustained media attack on the government and on Boris to make sure that he looks as bad as possible. Um, I think it's quite timely, in fact, considering um, uh, at the end of the day, there's going to be quite a few taxes coming down the road, I would assume, considering the cost of COVID has amounted to, I think it's about 200 billion in terms of furloughs and everything else that has been uh, totted up on the menu, quite rightly to support ordinary people across the UK. But at the end of the day, um, we, there's, a, there's a concerted effort to remove the Prime Minister. Um, but our focus has to be on how we get out of the situation and actually address the issues that people care about, which is tax, which are these everyday things.